Hello and welcome girls and boys. We are so excited to present this video to you today. This is our second video and it's part of a reading series. Today we are going to be looking at all about syllable awareness and it's the second skill in that phonological awareness umbrella. I've got my special friend here, Isla. Hello. And she's going to help us do some of these activities to help strengthen our syllable awareness skills, which essentially then will help us be great, strong, confident readers. All right, come with us and we're going to do an activity. The first activity I have today is my special hat and inside my hat I have some items and some objects and we are going to select these objects and we're going to break up the words into syllables. All right, Isla, choose an object here. Oops. Oh, what do you have there? A pen. We have a pen. Let's break up pen into syllables and we're going to do this by clapping, okay? Let's do it to this one together. Pen. How many syllables in that word? How many claps did we say? Ten. There was only one clap, so that means there was one syllable in the word ten. Let's try another one. Let's see what's inside the hat. Ooh, this is a highlighter. Yes. Let's clap out highlighter. Are you ready, Isla? Highlighter. Oh, that was tricky. How many syllables in that one? Three. Three, you're right, there were three syllables because we had done three claps. Okay, let's do the next one. Oh, what do we have here? Scissors. All right, you're gonna do this one on your own, okay? Clap out the syllables in scissors. Scissors. How many scissors. syllables? Yeah, let's try, let's see if Isla was right. Let's do it, girls and boys. Scissors. Number two. Well done. Fantastic. Oh, I've got some more things in here. I wonder what could be inside. Oh. It's a deep hat. <laughs> what do we have here? We have Play-Doh. Oh, I love playing with Play-Doh. Let's see how many syllables are in Play-Doh. Are we ready? Yes. Play-Doh. How many syllables? Two. Two. Because there were how many clouds? Two. Two claps. Ooh, we've got a few more little objects in here. Let's let's give it a go. What do we have? Spoon. A spoon. Let's try, Isla. You do this one for us. Spoon. One. One. One what? One syllable. What I'm going to do is break up a word into parts. And Isla, my friend, she's going to put that word back together for me. Okay, you ready, Isla? Yes. Let's start with this word. Din, er. What word did I segment then? Tina. Tina. Well done. Let's try this one. Break. Fast. Breakfast. Oh, that was good. Let's try another one. Tay. Ball. Table. Table. Phenomenal. Let's do the next one. Cup. Ball. Cover. Covered. Fantastic. Well done, Isla. Okay, for the next activity, this time we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do what we call syllable segmentation. This time, I'm going to say the full word, Isla, and you're going to segment that word into syllables. So let's do the first one. Hungry. 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 How many syllables did you segment that word into? Two. Two. Good. All right, I'm going to say baby. Baby. Great, you segmented that word into two parts because baby has two syllables. Baby. Brilliant. Bottle. Bottle. Great, how many syllables in bottle? Two. Two. Bottle. Brother. Brother. How many syllables did you segment that two. word into? Two. Lucky last. Bouncy. Bouncy. How many syllables in bouncy? Two. Two. Spot on, Isla. You did phenomenal. Well done. Okay, girls and boys, we are going to do an activity called syllable addition. I'm going to say 
one word and then we're going to add another word to the end of that word and this is called syllable addition. Now Isla's going to make sure she can add those words together to create that new word. It's also called com making compound words as well. Alright, our first word is cat. I say cat. Can you add fish to that word? Catfish. It turns to catfish. Well done. I'm going to say sun. Now you're going to add tan to that word. Sun tan. Sun tan. A one syllable word now turns to a two syllable word. Okay, oh, I'm going to trick you with this one. I'm going to say right. And you're going to add er uh to the end. Right Oh, I couldn't trick you with that one. Well done. Okay, lucky last. I'm going to say nut. You're going to add shell to that word. Nut shell. Great work. We added all of those new words to make compound words. And that's called syllable addition. Okay, you're going to love this activity, girls and boys. This one's called syllable deletion. I've got some pictures here. And these are of compound words. If you have a look at this one, there is a picture of a balloon and a pin. It's getting popped. And this is corn. So we put that together. What word do we have? Popcorn. How many syllables in popcorn? Pop corn. How many did you count, Isla? Two. Two. Fantastic. This time I'm going to delete one of the syllables. I'm going to delete this one. What am I left with, Isla? Corn. Corn. How many syllables in corn? Corn. We have one. One syllable in corn. All right, let's try another one. I have a picture of a star and a picture of a fish. Let's put these together, Isla. What word is that? Starfish. Starfish. Two syllables. This time I'm going to remove the fish. What are we left with, Isla? Star. A star. That's right. We are left with the word star. And star has only one syllable. Well, let's see this one. I have a picture of a cow. And I have a picture of a boy. What would that word be? Cowboy. Let's count it out. Let's count those syllables out. Cowboy. Wow, there are two syllables in cowboy. Now I'm going to move cow. And we're left with... Boy. Boy. And there is only one syllable in boy. Well, this one's an interesting one. It's someone who's really hot on a really hot day. And then we have a dog. This looks like the word hot dog. Let's count the syllables in hot dog. Hot dog. How many syllables, I love? Two. Two, you're right. That's so correct. Let's take this one away. What word am I left with now? Dog. Hmm, how many syllables in dog? How many claps did I just do then? I did one. Wow. That's right. Oh, this looks good. I have a picture of a foot. And I have a picture of a ball. This is what we call football. That's right. Now I'm going to remove that picture of a foot here. And we're only left with a ball. That's right. How many syllables in ball? One. Whereas in football, there were two. That's right. Okay, lucky last. There is an egg and there is a cup. Hmm, that word is? Egg cup. Egg cup, that's right. Now I'm going to remove egg and we're left with cup. Hmm, how many syllables in the word cup? One. Yeah, let's count, let's have it. Cup. cup. Yeah, we checked it. There was only one. That's right. Thanks, girls and boys. All right, girls and boys, we're going to do our last activity, our last syllable activity. This is called syllable substitution. It sounds tricky, but we're going to get there. It's going to be fun. All right, Isla's going to help me with this one. I have the word male man. Let's clap out the syllables in male man. Male man. Two syllables. 
syllables, okay? We're gonna change that last syllable, man, into box. Male box. So instead of mailman, we now have male box. Wow, that was tricky. You did really well, Isla. Let's try this one. Bath mat. Two syllables in bath mat. We're gonna change mat to top. So now we have bath. Oh. Wow, let's clap out the syllables in bathtub. Bathtub. Oh. Also two syllables. Okay, let's try sunfish. Sunfish. Oh. This time we're going to change the word fish to flower. Ready? What does that turn into? Sun. Flower. Wow, sun. Flower. I had so much fun, girls and boys. I hope you did too. That brings us to the end of our reading segment, all about syllables. I hope you can join us for our next one. Please subscribe below and to see all our new videos that are going to come up because this is going to be a series all about reading. And we can't wait for you to join us and to be strong, confident readers. Bye for now.